you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Sani, your host. Today, we're continuing with our founder series by way of Samuel Adams. Some of us may know the name Samuel Adams because of a popular Boston brewery that is situated actually at his old home. But Samuel Adams is indeed one of the founding fathers of the United States and the second cousin of our second president, John Adams. Samuel Adams is recognized as one of the main instigators of the American Revolution, especially through writing anti-British pamphlets that were widely distributed and served to stir up the masses. One of the reasons he had such a devout animosity towards the British was because Parliament shuttered his father's bank. It had a disastrous impact on the family's finances initially, but they were able to partially rebound by opening a malt house. Adams penned numerous essays and articles that galvanized public opinion against British rule. His ability to articulate the grievances of the colonists and advocate for independence helped to sway public sentiment and build support for the revolutionary cause. One of Adams' most significant victories was his instrumental role in organizing the Boston Tea Party in 1773. This event, in which colonists dumped tea into Boston Harbor in protest of the Tea Act, was a key moment in the lead-up to the American Revolution. Adams' leadership and ability to mobilize colonists for a common cause were essential in demonstrating the colonists' resolve to resist British rule. Another notable victory for Adams was his role in drafting the Massachusetts Constitution of 1780. Adams served on the drafting committee and was instrumental in shaping the document, which served as a model for many other state constitutions and influenced the drafting of the U.S. Constitution. Adams' commitment to democratic principles and individual liberties were reflected in the Massachusetts Constitution solidifying his legacy as a champion of American independence. Despite his many victories, Adams also faced his fair share of failures throughout his political career. One of his most notable setbacks was his failed bid for the governorship of Massachusetts in 1789. Adams, who had served as a lieutenant governor of the state, hoped to ascend to the governorship but was defeated in the election by John Hancock. This defeat was a blow to Adams' political ambitions and marked a low point in his career. In addition to his political setbacks, Adams also faced personal challenges that affected his legacy. While Samuel was spirited and passionate about causes he believed in, he found ordinary work unfulfilling. As a tax collector, he was in arrears for thousands of dollars. Additionally, he did not learn to manage his inherited wealth, leading to further unfortunate events. When his parents died, Samuel inherited the estate, including the family brewery. Despite his inherited wealth and stature, Adams lived in poverty for much of his life. His financial trouble and lack of personal wealth contrasted with the image of him as a prominent leader of the American Revolution. He rose to several prominent positions in Massachusetts, but died nearly destitute. Samuel's passion and role in the American Revolution and Massachusetts legislator cannot be overstated. However, I find his personal failures striking and full of leadership lessons that are worth pondering. Before I share five key takeaways of Samuel Adams' failures, I'd like to preface by stating that I personally find it disheartening to read about some of the unfortunate circumstances great leaders experience because of a lack of skill. Financial wisdom can be learned and applied just like anything you may want to learn. Never think that you're not able or capable of learning a skill in any area of career and life 
It's just not true. Some things do require more effort, discipline, and time, but almost anything is attainable with self-education and unwavering commitment and an unquenchable hunger to know more. Here are five important leadership lessons we can learn from founder Samuel Adams' life. Number one, prioritizing political activism over personal finances. Samuel Adams was deeply involved in political activities that led to the American Revolution. His dedication to the cause often took precedence over pursuing lucrative financial opportunities. Adams devoted his time and resources to advocating for independence, organizing protests, and serving in political roles, which likely limited his focus on personal financial matters. The lesson here is if we're going to prioritize our passions over finances, make sure you're able to support yourself. Samuel Adams had a wife and children. He was not able to financially support them. This is not his best example of effective leadership as great leaders manage important areas of their life with skill. This may point to a flaw in decision making. Podcast episode number 79, Better Decisions, can provide more insights. Number two, limited business acumen. While Adams possessed strong leadership skills and keen political mind, he may have had limited experience or interest in managing personal finances or engaging in profitable business ventures. His primary focus was on political activism rather than financial success. The lesson here is to learn as much as you can about financial solvency. Here are eight practical ways to become financially literate. Number one, read books on personal finance. Reading books written by finance experts can provide a solid foundation of knowledge to better understand key concepts. To me, Warren Buffett is the very best. Look him up. Two, take online or in-person courses. Many platforms offer free or paid courses on financial topics, such as budget management, investments, or retirement planning. Number three, manage a budget. Tracking and analyzing income and expenses is essential to understand where money goes and how to optimize it. Number four, invest in financial education. Participating in seminars, workshops, or specialized training can help deepen knowledge and skills in financial matters. Stay informed. Stay informed about economic and financial news. Being aware of market trends, interest rates, inflation. All of this can help you make informed decisions. Also avoid unnecessary debts. Understanding the different types of debts impact on personal finances is crucial to avoid financial pitfalls. Save and invest regularly. Setting aside money and making it grow through appropriate investments is an important step towards financial stability. And also consult a financial advisor. When endowed or with specific financial needs, seeking advice from a professional can provide personalized guidance tailored to your goals. So all these things can absolutely take you in the right direction. Number three, strong political ethics. Adams maintained a reputation for honesty and integrity in his political dealings. This steadfast commitment to ethical principles earned him the trust and respect of his peers and constituents alike. His unwavering dedication to transparency and moral uprightness served as a beacon of leadership, inspiring others to uphold similar standards of integrity in their own actions. Adam's legacy of integrity continues to resonate, underscoring the enduring importance of moral character in the realm of politics and public service which is essential in enduring legacy shaping leadership. Number four, economic challenges of the time. The period in which Samuel Adams lived leading up to and during the American Revolution was marked by economic instability, trade restrictions, and inflation. These broader economic considerations affected Adams' financial well-being making it difficult to stabilize his finances. 
Navigating financial downturns successfully requires strategic planning and resilience. Here are four ways to effectively navigate through challenging economic times. Assess and prioritize expenses. Evaluate your current financial situation and determine essential expenses versus discretionary spending. Prioritize necessary expenses to ensure financial stability during the downturn. Create a financial contingency plan. Develop a contingency plan that outlines specific steps to take just in case of income loss or financial hardship. This plan should include details on managing debt, accessing emergency funds, and seeking additional income sources. Focus on increasing savings. During a financial downturn, it's crucial to boost your savings to create a buffer against unexpected financial challenges. Cut back on non-essential expenses and allocate more funds towards savings to build a robust financial cushion. Lastly, explore alternative income opportunities. Look for additional sources of income or part-time opportunities to supplement your primary source of revenue. Diversifying your income streams can provide stability and resilience during economic downturns. If you implement these strategies and proactively manage your finances during a downturn, you can build financial resilience and ensure greater stability, ensure greater stability in challenging economic circumstances. Number five, dependence on external sources of support. As a political figure and advocate for American independence, Samuel Adams relied on the financial contributions of supporters and allies to fund his political activities. Depending on external sources made him more vulnerable to financial uncertainties and fluctuations in financial backing. Becoming financially independent is a goal we should all have. Here are six strategies to work towards financial independence. Firstly, create a detailed financial plan. Start by outlining your financial goals, creating a budget, and setting a timeline for achieving financial independence. A well-thought-out plan acts as a roadmap to guide your financial decisions. Next thing is to increase your income sources, which we lightly touched on previously. Just explore opportunities to boost your income, such as taking on a side hustle, freelancing, investing in income generating assets or seeking career advancement. Diversifying your revenue streams can accelerate your journey to financial independence. Live below your means. Adopt a frugal lifestyle by spending less than you earn. Strive to save and invest a significant portion of your income rather than succumbing to lifestyle inflation. Building a habit of saving consistently is key to achieving financial independence. Invest wisely. Educate yourself about different investment options such as stocks, real estate, retirement accounts, and other assets. Make informed investment decisions that align with your risk tolerance, financial goals, and timeline for achieving financial independence. This next step is probably the most important, which is eliminate debt. Just eliminate it. Prioritize paying off high interest debts such as credit card balances or personal loans to reduce financial burdens and free up more funds for savings and investments. Debt repayment is essential for building a solid financial foundation on the path to independence. Lastly, plan for your retirement. Contribute to retirement accounts like your 401k, your IRAs, or pension plans to secure your financial future. Establishing a robust retirement saving strategy early on ensures a steady income stream post-retirement and reinforces your financial independence goal. Founder Samuel Adams was not only a signer of the Declaration of Independence, but also a key architect influential in the early American independence movement. His passionate advocacy for colonial rights and fervent opposition to British tyranny made him a pivotal force in galvanizing support for the cause of independence. 
Though his legacy was not flawless, his passion for freedom and democracy was unquestionable and helped make freedom a reality for us all. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review. Follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Do This First. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all 135 podcast episodes and counting on my blog at dothisfirst.life. You can also sign up for my new weekly newsletter, which will help you get your week started on a positive note and updates on coaching, books, merch, and my public speaking engagements will also be provided. Tomorrow, we'll continue with our Founder Series with Founder James Madison. Till then. Moving past the rain.